Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today I thought I would explore some fun facts from the long-running game show, The Price is Right. The show premiered in 1956 and ran for almost 10 years, taking a brief hiatus before coming back in 1972. The Price is Right has been on all three major networks, ABC, CBS, and NBC. The ratings improved when Bob Barker's hair went gray. If you want to be a contestant on The Price is Right, you better butter up to Stan Blitz. You don't get on The Price is Right without him. He makes all the decisions. He goes through the line. To be a contestant, you better be a brown nose to Stan Blitz. Bob Barker wasn't the original host. Bill Cullen hosted the original show from 56 to 66. And then Bob Barker took over when the show came back in 1972. Aaron Paul was once a contestant on The Price is Right. Come on down! The most popular game is Palinko, and there have only been 10 Palinko chips ever made because they're so expensive. After the game is over, they're locked up. They lock up the Palinko chips because they're so expensive to make. Only one contestant has ever guessed the actual value of the showcase showdown. In 2010, Terry Kinese guessed the exact price, $23,743. Audience members have been there for a long time. You're on your feet for four and a half hours at the studio's front gate before they even allow you inside. The actual taping takes about 90 minutes, so the entire experience is about six hours. When Drew Carey became host, the games got a lot easier. Producers were understandably worried that Bob Barker's departure of The Price is Right wouldn't attract as many viewers, so up the excitement, they changed the games ever so slightly, but now they were a little easier to win. The studio audience claps even during commercials. Yes, to keep the excitement going, the audience is told, keep clapping, clap, clap, clap. This show seems like a lot of work, especially if you're not chosen. I mean, they're asking you to clap the whole time. It's a, it's a six-hour adventure. You're four and a half hours on your feet. That's a lot of work. Rosie O'Donnell almost became the host after Bob Barker left. It was John or Hurley, George Hamilton, Mario Lopez, and none other than Rosie O'Donnell tried to be the host of The Price is Right. On a not-so-happy note, Janice Pennington was taping a show in 1988 when a camera accidentally knocked her into contestants' row. The unconscious model was taken to the hospital where she underwent two surgeries, one of which left one shoulder one inch shorter than the other. Because of her scars from the surgery, she wasn't allowed to wear swimsuits on the show anymore. Then in October of 2000, after 29 years on the show, Pennington was let go. She told the Los Angeles Times... She believed she was fired because she gave a disposition in a wrongful termination suit filed by Holly Hallstrom. There you go. There's some fun facts about The Price is Right. Come on down.